Now, individually for me, in PHP, I've never made a cold call. Should you ever make a cold call? Because if you have this trust, credibility, top 25 list dynamic, you'll never make a cold call for the rest of your life. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to get rejected. And by the way, when you get rejected from friends and family, is it more hurtful than a stranger? Yeah. And sometimes people think that way, and, they, and they, PHP doesn't work. No, you just, got, you just got butt hurt. Because a cousin or a mom or a dad or a family member rejected you. But if you worked on volume, you're good. Let me encourage you. I've made more money in my career with strangers than I ever had with friends and family. You will do the same. You will go through a lot of people in your life and they'll upset you, they'll, they'll disrespect you, they'll reject you. I just want you to know, in this process, setting appointments and overcoming rejections, that's part of the process. And that's okay. We've all been through it. You will go through it. And guess who's going to go through it? Your team and their team and their team. Now, back to the soft skills. If you have number one, will those objections and rejection hurt you? Okay, so I do IG lives on Thursday nights uh, after 9.30 p.m. Why did, I, why did I do 9.30 p.m. Uh, IG lives? Number one, it's the only time I got. And then number two, I find out when most people think about money, it's after they put the kids to bed. <laughs> a little bit of research analysis on my end. I get a lot of DMs in my inbox, 9 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I get a lot of them after 9 p.m. 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. If I put my own data in terms of uh, uh, people reaching out, it's between 9 p.m. and 2 a.m. In, at night and in the morning. Okay, so this Thursday, I, I do an IG Live. And I'm just randomly, select, people want to, I just want to join the conversation, request to join. I don't know who's, it could be a troll, it could be a competitor, could, you know, it could be an ex. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what she's asking for, I, I, I overpaid her. But, but, and I had the kids, right? But nonetheless, when, when I'm selecting that on Thursday, guess who came on? An actual client. And she, she got a, a living benefit policy. So we're, we're posting it later, but it's the, the recent IG Live I did on Thursday. She comes, Matt, listen, I put $70 into the policy. I got a million dollar policy. I'm in my 30s. Seven months into the policy, paying 70 bucks a month, I came down with thyroid cancer. And within a week, the life insurance company I purchased a policy through issued a living benefit of six figures. They wanted to send me more. I said, no, just keep it. So she says, I got a six-figure check from the insurance company, flipped the rest of the policy to a permanent policy. She got a six-figure check. Says, how do you feel about life insurance?